tell Tone it's a real money in the room. Well, most recently in the news, Big Juke, the brother of Memphis legend and music mogul Yo Gotti, was shot and killed after leaving a funeral in his hometown of Memphis, Tennessee. Look at God. Look at God. Uh, something that ain't nobody looking at during this event. Yeah, I know it. Uh, look at God. Uh, something that you said, uh, you been MIA for a minute. And I said, uh, you lucky you weren't a prisoner of war. Uh, you know, when I hear things like this, I don't, I don't go with what's going in the media. That ain't how we do on Real Tune. Uh, we go with what's, uh, what make it make sense. Uh, what make it make sense right now? Look at God, y'all. Uh, another lesson learned. Another valuable lesson learned. Something that's worth value this time. Uh, that maybe that God can um, show somebody some things that everybody ain't looking at. Everybody looking at a finger to point. Everybody looking at somebody to blame for something. Everybody looking around to see who who gonna take credit, who gonna take the response, who gonna make an album, who all that. But <laughs> ain't nobody looking at the message in the mess. Hello! Yeah. Ain't nobody looking at the message in the mess. Uh, everybody just looking at the mess that was left behind. Uh, uh, no disrespect. A, a lesson well learned. Yeah. Uh, for, for everybody to see. Uh, let's flip the flop. I know what it feel like on both ends. But not on his end. But I know what it feel like. Uh, first of all, let's let's give um prayers to the family, man. They gotta they gotta um make front arrangements right now. You understand me? Let's give prayers to them families, man. The one things ain't nobody looking at. Everybody just looking at what's happening, what's going on around everything, but nobody's um, uh, you know, um, uh, saying how's the kids taking it. Um, how's his mom taking it? Um, uh, you know, um. Uh, no, she's traumatized. How is mom holding up to see your son murdered in the streets like that? How is mom holding up? Has anybody checked on the mother? Uh. Uh. Another, another loss in history for us black folks, man. Uh, this, is, is this the way all of us gonna have to go? I mean, I'm just saying though, it's, it's, it's nothing to do with who did what, but you know, if you want to get into that like that tune, the man just looked at a dead body and, and five minutes later he was a dead body. Hello! I mean, things that y'all looking at things that's happening in life instead of looking at how it went down. Oh, because how that went down, that's how that was supposed to go down. No other way. That was the way he was supposed to go and he wasn't going to lead his world no other way but that way. Come on, Tune, tell me to make it. Please tell me to make it make sense. Please. Please ask me. I just need you to ask me that right now because when you, karma is a must in God's world. And in, in this spiritual life that we live in, you know, the, the, the place that we visiting right now, karma is a must. What goes around comes around. And, and don't think that you're going to leave this earth no other way. You're going to sneak out of here on a heart attack. You're going to sneak out of here having a stroke. You're going to sneak out of here um, um, with COVID. No, 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 ain't no sneaking out. You gonna sneak out of here the same way young Dolph left out of here. The same mess that you made, you gotta clean that up. <laughs> and what better way to clean it up than have you to do it yourself? Hello! I told y'all, keep up with the mess, it's not the mess. Uh, what goes around comes around. Uh, everybody know the story. Everybody know what, you know, what happened, what did this. Everybody, everybody know because everybody telling it. Uh, and then everybody want to yell somebody snitching. <laughs> uh, I was watching, I was watching um, Black Youngster when he was on his way to court and they was booking him in for the, um, the hundred shots that Young Dolph missed. And they was saying, um, no, he said, I don't know nothing, I don't know nothing, don't ask me nothing. <laughs> and they kept asking him questions to where he, where he heard something that made him say, yeah, oh shit, somebody must be snitching. That's what young black youngster said. Somebody must be snitching because he because he keep hearing everything. But watch this. When it came down to um, Big Juke get killed, I know nothing about Big Juke. I, I never heard of the man, you know, a day in my life until he got killed. 
Same thing about my brother A.D. When he got murdered. A lot of people didn't know who A.D. was. Could care less who A.D. was. Uh. But once your, you know, like, like a lot of bloggers, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 everybody know who Big Juke is, but down here in Texas, uh, this Texas, we, we, we got other uh, kingpins to deal with. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got our own kingpins to deal with that, um, that's going to lead the same way that, like Billy Ray Maddox, uh, my cousin Bobby Wayne Reed, you understand me? Legends down here. R.I.P. to E.C. Douglas. You dig what I'm saying? Big Bull. You understand me? Yeah, uh. And the list goes, we got our own. You understand me, uh. But at the same time, uh, somebody got to make a change. Shout out to Billy Ray. I seen the change. And then he just passed. But thank God Billy Ray did all that time. Came home, we just had his birthday party at the uh, Turkey Den. Uh, just had a man birthday party at the Turkey Den. Looked like he was a, 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 a millionaire. And next thing you know, uh, he was gone. Uh, but he left the way he's supposed to live, in peace. Uh, he didn't leave bodies on the street. When you leave bodies on the street, believe you're going to be a body left on the street. Uh, Big Juke left bodies on the street. Uh, Big Juke was bigger than everybody. But um, one thing you got to know, when somebody hurt, they hurt. It's one thing about me. I know one thing. Let me tell you how I live long. Tell us from a crib. I live long because I stayed in Eastwood in Fort Worth, Texas. And I knew I was doing wrong in the streets. And I knew one thing, every time I seen something go around, it came around, it kept going around. They call this funky town. Cause all these bodies just, niggas just leaving bodies in alleys and trash cans. You can smell a dead body, um, like you can smell rain coming. Hello! But one thing I learned was how to maneuver through neighborhoods. When you grow up in Eastwood, a blood neighborhood that's surrounded by nothing but bloods and you are a crip, yelling crip, your life is in danger. The same thing that goes out with these guys that are doing these hits in these streets. You got to know if I didn't did this and I didn't did this, there's certain places I can't go. There's certain places I can't visit. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all stayed in, I had a, I had a, I had a, in my neighborhood, I had a radius of where I would move and go and where I couldn't go. I wouldn't go past Stall Cut. My bad. I wouldn't go past Village Creek. That's where it stopped for me yet. Uh, when I come back this way, I wouldn't go past Miller. Everything past Village Creek, I institutionalized myself to this part of the neighborhood and just went back towards the south side. From Village Creek to the south side, to Martin, to Rosedale, and, that's, and I limit myself. I, gave, I had to do that because guess what? I knew the life that I was living, or had been living, would get me killed if I ventured anywhere else. Now, the same life my big brother lived. I can talk on this because I had a big brother that just died the same way, y'all. Uh, when Big Juke was getting called, as y'all didn't know, um, it was a car show in Memphis the day before. And Big, Ju Big Juke had just got shot at. The man had just got shot at the day before. Uh, he got killed. This was calling him like they called his phone and warned me, man, quit asking. You no, know, this and that, this and that. And then you find out, we're going to kill you. We're going to, come on, man, you being what? I'm not going to stop six in my neighborhood. And I got blood niggas, you know, because I'm going to be right over here, cuz. I'm be right over here on style cut and berry, nigga, cuz y'all niggas pull up, cuz. What, what, what that sound like for me? Uh, in my neighborhood, let me tell y'all that don't know, that's a death trap for me in my neighborhood. I won't make it out of there like that. I'm not that bad. I'm not that tough. And when you done left blood on the streets, you got to know you're not that bad. <laughs> you're not that tough. No. Now you, it was something about Big Juke, uh, you know, when you got billions and trillions of, and that much, much of dollars, um, sometimes you feel like you untouchable. You feel like ain't nobody in here can touch you. You dig what I'm saying? And, uh, the long arm of, of God reaches far, not the law. But when you get that bold and cocky and say, hey, I'm going here anyway, uh, I can understand where his head was at because I watched my big brother die the same way. When I told my big brother, please, man, don't, don't go down there, man. You know you can't go down there. We ain't that big yet. It's stop six night. It's, it's blood night. You can't go down there, big bro. Don't do that. Uh, big Juke, don't go to Memphis. Don't do that like that and tell them where you at, too. Don't you going to do them like, now? Nah, you can't do that, big bro, with a blue rag around your neck. 
you can't go down there like that, big bro, with that, with that blue hat on right there and that brag around your neck like that. You can't do that. Big Juke, you can't ride around Memphis like that, go to a funeral. Because let me tell y'all one thing y'all don't understand about the life they live. Everybody looking at the, the funeral, he was at the funeral, he was here, he was at the... Well, it don't matter. One thing y'all got to know, the game that they in, it ain't no timeouts. Yeah, it's all gas, no brakes. Yeah. Say, that's, when, that's wherever we catch you, wherever we catch you. It, it ain't no timeouts in that game, man. Ain't that, the, hey, you know, when, 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 when young Dolph said, I'm going down here to get my donuts every, every, every season down here in Memphis, that, what was it, Mama's, Mama's Chicken or wherever he got caught at, he, everybody knew his routine. But if you didn't leave the, if you didn't put mess out there, not no messages, Mess going to come back to y'all, y'all. Um, my big brother, I told him, I pleaded for him. I didn't plead for him that night, but I just knew it didn't make sense. But sometimes, you you know, my big brother think you growner than that and I didn't grow out of that. But the life they living, nah. Can't never grow out of that. Go with this gang shit too. Uh, don't ever think you ain't got too big for the gang that you can go hang where you want to hang. Don't never think that they, the blood that you done left in the street, you can go hang where you want to hang. Big Jiggy didn't go like that. Big Jig was just caught out of character, out of pocket, and out of bounds. Uh, Dolph moved, uh, uh, his brother Gotti moved the way he was supposed to, hit the front and get out the town, man. All that, all that other stuff, they know how he got killed and all that shit don't even matter to me. That man did. That man did how he got killed, why he got killed, say, man, ain't none of that gonna bring that man back. So, therefore, I'm not gonna get over here and talk about who to blame and who to point the finger at. The system gonna do that. Uh, the system gonna do that. Uh, the system has done that. <laughs> Let y'all, if y'all haven't paid attention, uh, get dirt up and everybody gonna find what they need to find. But, uh, when my brother went out of bounds that night, my brother didn't come back. <laughs> My brother went out of bounds that night, he didn't come back. When Big Jook went out of bounds in Memphis, he didn't come back. You, you're not going to make it out of certain situations there because you got bad situations. I, I would say, man, uh, I'm not going to even lie to you. I'm not that tough to ride all, all, all through stop six right now today. Right now today in some areas. You know what I'm saying? Me just go back out from there and get to, you know, and thinking that I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm that big to do that. No, I'm not. That ain't something you have to explain to a gangster. That was some big joke I already knew. That ain't something you have to explain to somebody that, that know the life that I live. I can't, I, I know I move better than that. But uh, karma, y'all think about that, karma. Y'all think about karma. Uh, I can't say what, what big joke did in the streets because, uh, you know, just word on the streets, you know, he put money in the streets on heads. Uh, so um, them heads came back and put money in the streets on him. Uh, that's what I believe in. Uh, that's how I feel about that situation too. What you think? While we're on the subject of Memphis, finesse two times brother No Love recently came to the internet and issued an apology to finesse two times. Um, actually, he didn't issue an apology. He actually said he forgives Finesse two times. Man, what if I just told you you struck a very hard emotion just then? Tales from a Crip. Uh, as no one knows but real tune, uh, me and my little brother been banging heads uh, like Rams. Not even like Rams, but um, to where it got to no love. You get what I'm saying? Um, and I hadn't, I hadn't, I hadn't talked to my brother all month. I hadn't talked to my brother none this year. Um, I stopped talking to my brother for a couple of months. Uh, silence. Um, they say silence is the best weapon. Which it is a, is a powerful weapon, but a weapon um, can also uh, kill you too. Hello! Uh, it probably went over somebody's head when I said that. 
Y'all know I always go around the block when I talk, so we well, anyway, a weapon can kill you too. Uh. And what I mean by that, uh, being silenced to my little brother, um, was turning me up on the inside. Yeah. It was, it was killing me on the inside. The silence that I was using against him was killing me. Uh, I was missing my little brother. Uh, but I wasn't going to tell him. Uh, I was being silent. I was using my weapon. Uh, the cold thing about Big Juke getting killed and, and finesse brother no love coming to him and apologize, that's 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 uh let's say karma again. Let, we still in the realm of karma. Me knowing that I love my little brother, it was killing me, and it was sudden. I got up early this yesterday morning. Tells my crib real life, man. Uh, I got up early yesterday morning, uh, and I got on the computer and I seen Big Juke had just got killed, and I was looking at my brother AD, and um. As I was looking at AD, um, I mean looking at my brother um Jook, you know, um, Gotti on there, I was I was just it was just going through my head, you know what I'm saying? And bro, I only got one brother left, man. You hear me? Uh, I said to myself, I hate for something to happen to my brother and we didn't get to straighten things out. I wonder was Gotti and his brother, you know, good. I know when you got brothers, man, it's hard to lose a brother like that. Uh let me show y'all the power in, in uh, the world that I live in. Uh, I got up to go t to go pray in the rest in the restroom, and uh, as soon as I walked through the door, guess who I ran into? My little brother. Uh, my little brother don't even come around, but, but for, that, for yesterday morning, for some reason, I ran right into him. Uh, I don't know because it was Green Bay Hater Day, you know what I'm saying? Because he's a hater, he's a he's a cheesehead from birth. Uh. But my little brother, I, I can tell that he missed me too because he did something he ain't did in a long time. He don't talk to me either. Uh, he went live. Uh, I was like, so my brother, he got his live on. And he's showing people me on his live. So he was doing it like there was my big brother. He, like he missed, that was meaning something to me that he didn't even know was meaning to me. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, he said, man, you know your brother, you know, your guy, his brother got killed. I said, that's who that was I'm looking at on the thing. I said, I just finished looking at that. Then I just grabbed my little brother and I started hugging him. I said, man, I miss you, bro. I love you, boy. I love you. That's what I told him. I love you, man. I know how finesse brother feel. No love to see somebody get killed and go, yeah, embrace your brother. And still have one to embrace. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. To wake up with that, your brother, is a, is a hurt feeling. Yeah. Uh. But to hug your brother is a better feeling. But they still here, so um, shout out to No Love for showing some love. Hello! Yeah. Shout out to No Love for showing some love. Uh. And we gonna change your name to show some love. <laughs> Instead of No Love. Boss. BG dropped a song where he dissed Birdman and Lil Wayne, specifically calling Lil Wayne a B word and saying that it was his partner in the same sentence. I don't, I don't think he just shooting at him because he had more to lose over Lil Wayne than the game. Uh, if, if he wasn't, man, I mean, he may, he, may, he might know some we don't know. <laughs> Well, we know Wayne ain't the baddest of the crew. He ain't telling us nothing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, when it came down to him, Juvenile BG, he might have been a to them. You did what I'm saying? At that time. He was a kid. They could bully you around at that time. Look, that's Juvie, BG, and, 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 and yeah. Y'all the kids. They, they the kids in the group. At that time, he might, but uh, I believe that's wrong on BG end because, you know, as a man, you understand me? He know that's a man. Uh, he just stood on his own like a man. Come on, BG, don't do that. Don't do the man like that. I mean, if that's what you think about him, let him be one. <laughs> you don't got to call him to be one. You hear me? Because <laughs> you might be one. That's what they were saying about you when you came home. I think he be one. <laughs> so, um, now, I don't, think, I don't think that's how you should know, uh, approach no situations 
from the jump. Man, because one thing about being locked up, man, ain't nobody got to ride with no nigga, man. A man going to ride on his own. A lot of niggas go to prison. Let me tell you what happened. They go to prison, they get scarred, and they think niggas folk got certain obligations to them because they locked up. Nah, nigga, you locked up. What's wrong with you, nigga? That's what made me a different breed. I watch you, nigga. I watch you beg y'all mamas for money. Beg for a visit. Walk that bitch down to it. Ain't nobody else there with you. And niggas will do niggas like that behind bars, too. They try to use a nigga like they ain't got no girl. They use a nigga. They might say they ain't this and that, but they use a nigga in jail like they use a nigga in jail. And BG, for you to want to worry about what a nigga could do for you when you locked up, you know, that's weak. That's what I see in a nigga. Because guess what? When I got to locked up in jail, uh, I told the world, ain't nobody got to do shit for me. Take care of my city. I lived off the land, nigga, until I became a man. Hello! I'm going to say that again. Nah, I didn't get visits, mail, conversation. I didn't get none of yeah, y'all lucky nigga, oh, man, she don't even come see me no more. I ain't f***ing with nobody. Everybody bitches and hoes because you want to lock them up with you. Don't worry about it. I'm going to let y'all soak in there for a minute. I'm going to let y'all soak in there for a minute. Everybody want everybody to be locked up with them. Stamps, envelopes, um, vit, man, come on now. As soon as a nigga don't do it, guess what? He's a bitch now. Nah, that's what you were trying to use him for. Cause niggas feel like niggas had several obligations for them when they got locked up. Man, he ain't do nothing for me, son. And damn son, little Wody ain't come through with a man and shit, that nigga nothing, son. <coughs> what should it matter? Nigga? You a man. You didn't want for nothing. So why does it matter who didn't do nothing? Hello! I said that slowly. If you didn't want for nothing, why it matter who didn't do nothing? Now they bitches cause they didn't do nothing. Now they just didn't play the bitch for you. You dig what I'm saying? Man, man, niggas be looking at things all wrong. That's how you can determine. When I was locked up, you could, when I came home, cause didn't nobody owe me nothing that didn't do nothing. I'm gonna say that again. Didn't nobody, did nobody owe me nothing that didn't do nothing. Cause they didn't do nothing to get locked up. I did. Hello! So, um, I'ma hold mine down. I always feel niggas that I always, you know, pressing people out here in the world when they was locked up was the weak ones anyway. That's just my feeling on, on, on being locked up. I was a goon on lock up. I was a gangster for real. Uh, I knew how to um, uh, go inside the chow house and sell sandwiches. Yeah, <laughs> for a dollar on the floor. Uh, make 50 sandwiches a day, dollar a piece. Everybody in prison don't want to eat prison food. If you got good hamburgers and ground meat and cheese, come in, man, give me three sandwiches. Give me four sandwiches. Four, everything gone in one day. That's $50 a day in prison. Come on, quit playing. Build an enterprise selling sandwiches in the chow hall. Like that. Live off the land. When it came down to BG, if, 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 um, if Little Wayne's a bitch, that mean, uh, you know, not taking sides because he might got his reason to see him, the reason he's saying the things he's saying. But um, I know he didn't feel like he didn't feel like it was right when they called him a bitch when he took that picture when he came home. <laughs> Cause that's what they were saying, that's what they were thinking about you. Even if I mean, even if they didn't say that about you. Um, but now nah, they ain't how you do, they ain't how you they ain't how you pay. You know, Lil Wayne ain't said nothing about that man. Uh yeah, you got your muscles up, your weight up. We already know what you'll do to him, so son, we ain't gotta worry about that part. Uh, you know, it's just little old Wayne. Little old Wayne, you know, that's all he been, but I guess to him he been a bitch the whole time. That's a man. I, you know, as far as I can see, uh, I ain't seen him doing nothing. I ain't seen him see, seen him do nothing but be a man. I know he take care of his kids. I know he take care of the babies of his. Uh, I don't see no bitch in that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I ain't fucked up about it, because like I said, everybody got their own reason to think of things about people. Uh, but uh, if that's what he want to jump on, he ain't been home long enough to jump on that one. Uh, Lil Wayne number one. <laughs> Bars. Hello. Let's go. So Lil Nas X has recently received a lot of backlash for, I, I, I guess, um, impersonating a Christian or making fun of uh, Christians with his music. Um, when you see... You you've seen the video. When you see something like that, 
um, as the true testament as you call yourself. Um, believer in Christ as you profess to be. Um, what is your thoughts? Oh, uh, um, we're back in the book of Revelations right now. We're in the last times right now. Uh, you start seeing things that um, you thought you'd never see when it comes down to the mockery of God. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, it's, it's just not a lot. It's just not little Nas X. Uh, the book of Clarence just dropped too. Uh, these are showing these, these these things right here. You know, I, I'm not a Bible thumper, but the only thing in that book that ever interests me was always the end of it. And that was Revelations. I didn't care nothing else about the Bible. My mama did. My mama read it. All was boring to me. I didn't I didn't like the Bible. I didn't like going to church or nothing. But um, when it came down to the end of the world, that always interests me. It always caught my eye to know what would happen at the end and the things that was to come. Uh, Cause I know one thing about life is gonna end. I just want the world to wake up to spiritual warfare, man. Uh, spiritual warfare is used to be things is fighting the unseen, but now you're starting to see the things that you're fighting against. Uh, the transition of men, the transition of women, you're starting to see it now. You dig what I'm saying? Openly, uh, with no problem. Uh, what God said wasn't meant to be is turning out meant to be. Uh, the devil runs this part of the universe. This is his, God gave him the keys to this place right here and gave him, told him, hey man, you can walk the land and seek who you may devour. Whoever you find, you can just say, you, if you can, uh, go ahead. He said, well, uh, how about you serving old person? Oh, Demerson? He said, oh, no, nah, you can shoot. You can shoot him all day. He, he said, I bet I can get him to, to break down and, you uh, know, and curse you, God, and die. Uh, when you have to walk in them shoes right here on earth, it's a lot you have to go through. When God say you can do what you want, but you just can't kill him. <coughs> uh, he told Job that in the Bible, he said, you can do what you want. You know what I'm saying? But he let him, he let him, he, he let him attack the body. God said, you can't touch Percy, though. You can't touch nothing, but you can try your best. That shit over. Ain't gonna be putting no lesions and sores and open wounds on me and have me just suffering. You know how the devil do you? Take you all the way to the end. Uh, make your ass. Uh, but God said you don't get to put that little punishment on him. But you can do what you want. So that means you can destroy and kill everything around him. You can take him through tests. Send your best demons at him. Put him on drugs. Put him in gangs. Put him in prison. You know. Get, get, do what you can to get rid of him. Uh, to see, to see what them videos are looking like and what times is coming to the, I, I just seen the book of Clarence, hold on. I, I just seen the book of Clarence, you know. The person that wrote the book of Clarence is Jay-Z. Another, another well activist, you know, for the other side um, of how we living. I'm living for the righteous and Jay-Z don't work for them. Uh, but he made a book, and there's another another mockery of God, you know. Um, the guy that's playing in um the book of Clarence, um, uh, as y'all know, he's um. These guys are part of the system. These guys are part of um, satanic rituals, man. You get what I'm saying? Um, uh, and it's coming out. It's coming out like no other now, man. Hey, you can go to my church right now, and and and, and the preacher would have to marry a man and a man, a woman and a woman. He would have to marry them. It's happening in the churches. Uh, we in, we at the end of times, too. We at the end of times, man. And uh, things will, you know, things will be unveiled, man. Uh, as you can see, they just snatched the wig off T.D. Jakes. <laughs> Bars, y'all ain't catch that one. I mean, the the um the spiritual side is winning right now, but we at war. We we it, this is this don't have nothing to do with. With um, what we seeing, but a lot to do with what's being exposed. Uh, a lot of things being exposed, man. Even when you start, say, um, they tried that with Tupac when the Machiavelli album came out and Tupac was on the cross. Uh, that was the last time you seen niggas really mocking God. You dig what I'm saying? But um, Tupac know once he had crossed over 
and came into the land, you know, you know, they, they got, you know, he was just trying to say, man, Tupac just had a strange way of saying, help me. Uh, the best way he could, because he knew he had got caught up in something that he couldn't get out of, which was the system. Uh, the man signed it to death row. Uh, when you say death row, that's, that's the same way you go. You sign your soul over. Uh, and you don't leave death row until you DOA. Y'all not catching the real the, the, the in between we talking about here. Uh, it's deeper than what y'all seeing and what y'all hearing. When you still seeing people hanging on crosses and, and, and Jay-Z just made this movie uh, with one of the biggest Satan worshippers, you know, uh, playing the Jesus part. They don't even believe in Jesus. But now they get to mark him, make a whole movie about, I mean, a comedy about Jesus, being, you know, marking Jesus. Hey, turn him, hey, you know, what? when, when did God become a, a mockery? That's the only man I'm scared to play with. You know, the, the disrespect is coming from all angles now, y'all. Now they just throwing people, you know, I, I know back in the day, they probably wouldn't even put that in a video. When I grew up, I seen a lot of white videos. I used to have to watch MTV. We didn't have no station. <laughs> but I never seen the things that I'm seeing now. Uh, spiritual warfare is, uh, is at a full-time high right now. We being bomb rushed uh, through the media, through the internet, uh, through, <coughs> through life itself. Uh, I'm, really, I'm really paying attention, man, because when it gets... When it's starting to get down to what it's clashing down to and y'all start to see the videos they making, I just told y'all the other day, if you pay attention to the videos, um, nothing that's playing in the videos in the background. The background is the message. If, there's rank, if you're looking at the that's rapping and singing, you losing the message. That's not the message. The message is in the background. You always have to pay attention to the background. That's where the message is. All you black folks, Stop looking at the person saying, looking at the girl shake her ass titties and, and bounce up and down and use gun, what type of gun? Quit looking at that. Oh, sh my bad. They only give y'all that to look at. <laughs> yeah, y'all don't get the good stuff. Yeah, y'all don't get the little Nas X's. Uh, y'all don't get the, uh, you know, the, the videos that show the real messages in the background. They took Kanye down. Kanye used to get a message. You can watch all Kanye videos. You go back and watch any Kanye videos, they'll let you know the message is in the background. You see a lot of army. I never understood why I kept seeing in videos uh, police. They weren't even army men. I thought they, these were army. They, it's the police with riot gear. I kept saying, why we keep it on? I ain't never seen that shit. And all of a sudden, uh, the shit hit my hood. Uh, the first time I seen it was when, when little boy got stung, whatever. Eric, whatever the little guy got killed or whatever, uh, I start seeing the ride gear show up. I ain't never seen I, That's the shit they be on the video. That's, that's the shit they be in the background because the message is in the background. Uh, they been giving the message away, but uh, to start seeing things like this playing in the background now, uh, I, don't, I don't know if anybody believe the old saying, but I don't want to be here. I'm, the world is coming to an end. I think that's what they say, the world is coming to an end. But um, I, that's one thing I don't never want to see. But um, to tell you the truth, I'm living in it right now. I'm looking at things that's happening now. Uh, this world coming to an end. Uh, but one thing everybody should know, the world gonna end for everybody. <laughs> the day the world come to the end, guess what that's gonna, that's gonna be? That's gonna be the day that you die. It's gonna be the end of the world for you. Y'all looking for the planet to come to you. Y'all looking for um, whatever they told y'all, sold y'all in that book. Uh, you know, that, that ain't how that's happening. Everybody that died, the day that you die, that's when your world come to an end. You might get to see everything you read about then. <laughs> but um, it's, it's scary to see what's playing in the background now because, uh, hell, I thought I'd never see no shit like it. I ain't gonna lie. I've been, I've been alive too long, y'all. I've been alive a long, long time. I mean, to some people, 50 something years ain't to some people. But you tell that to the ones that died before they was 25. Yeah. Try that out. Um, a lot of y'all, when y'all get my age, y'all gonna say y'all lost a lot of people before I got 50. 
Let me tell y'all something. Back in the days, um, we didn't see things that we seeing right now on TV. Um, I don't see nothing on there to help black folks. My bad. I don't see nothing on there to help our race. Uh, but kill them, kill them, and kill them. Every time you come on the TV, either we sliding, we stepping, we drilling, uh, we killing, or we flipping and we flopping. I don't see no help on there. I don't see no conscious music on there. I don't see no wholesome music being played no more. Uh, they took everything that was good out the music industry and brung in what they you know, wanted us to have because they know one thing about music. Music controls the culture. Music controls whatever's going on in the atmosphere. Put it in the music. It's just like putting a new drug on the street. Uh, and when people start seeing music, people start trending. The trend is set. Uh, I just watched the little Nas X video. He didn't have no um, girls in there dancing. He had guys lifting them up. <laughs> I said, all oh, them all dudes though, yeah. I mean, and it was all dressed the same. Uh, trending. Uh, he didn't get paid to dress like that. If he got paid, how much would they pay the rest? I mean, it ain't about pay no more. It's a trend that's out there. It's a trend that's in the air. When the something's in style, that's what's in style. When the Crips and Bloods came in, they didn't know what no damn Crips and Bloods went until they seen banging in Little Rock. Uh, uh, Colors. Uh, South Central. Uh, Friday. Menace to society. Uh, culture. Whatever they throw in the earth, that's what's going to be in style. So, um, yeah. That's how I see that too. China Mac decided to part ways with Crip Mac after Crip Mac got word that China Mac wasn't welcomed in LA by Mexicans because he was quote unquote acting hard. So Crip Mac told China Mac to quit acting hard. Um, China Mac came back and said he wasn't working with him anymore. Um, mind you, China Mac was kind of on Crip Mac's side right before he went to jail. Um, what, what do you think of China Mac and Crip Mac breaking up? I really don't think nothing about it, too. But I can tell you this, though. Um, let go. Uh, you don't need trouble around you. You hear me? I just told Kunta the other day, uh, when he came down to playing chess, the first thing I take off the chess board is my <laughs> Yeah, I don't need a you understand me? Uh, if um, let me tell y'all something. Um, uh, I, I watched I watched a messy a messy young girl. We gonna call her uh, the the uh, China Rat. <laughs> we gonna call her China Rat. Uh, China Rat. I just watched China Rat get into it with a, with a, with a female and uh, when she ran home, uh. Her parents asked her what happened to her. She said, S jumped on her. And uh, it's just a little tear from a crib. Uh, and when the parents said, you got jumped on, parents got in the car, said, let's go back over here. And you gonna get this to go out here and fight one on one and do this again. Well, when she got to the kid's house, the young man approached the door. He asked what's going on. And uh, he said, I heard your little, you know, the daughter been getting into it with my goddamn daughter. So uh, yeah, tell her, bring I heard they finna get their ones on one. I heard some grown people jumped in. The, uh, the young man said, no, nah, ma'am, I was just trying to pull them off of them and tell them to quit, cut it out. By the time he walked the man outside, two other men approached me and gunned him down. Went inside the house and killed the grandma too, 78-year-old grandma and 50-year-old guy. Uh, I wonder what um, China Red feel like now to sit there and know that you brought that mess to your mama house because people told you to quit acting hard. But you were study doing messy stuff. Now you didn't got your grandmama killed and your daddy killed. Uh, over some bullshit. See, Mac ain't wrong for cutting a bitch off like that. If you bad trouble, a lot of trouble will come your way. Cause C Mac know he gonna be the one that had to break something up, and end up losing his life behind it. Uh, cause it won't cost her nothing. Females act like that when they got protection like that, y'all. Uh, females crash these dumb out. My bad. My bad. A lot of black women crash these black men out every day on the same sh crashing them, turning it up, as they call it. We'll turn them up. I can't turn it up over her. 
I actually hear females talk like this now about what they'll do, you know, to get some old dudes to do something. They do, they do, they talk like that now until it's them the one that's caught up in the killings. They not even telling y'all how these ladies losing their lives. The set-up girls, the cross-eyed girls, the pillow talkers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Crip Magno, that's a dangerous type of person to have around you nowadays. And uh, I wouldn't give two goddamn pennies of losing like that. You hear me? Uh, I get rid of trouble. I want to go. I want to be able to go to Hawaii with my girl and sit on the you no know, sit out there and drink Bahama Mamas on the beach with my feet kicked up or something. Yeah, I don't want to be sitting up here on, uh, you know, looking at a motherfucker playing her her all goddamn Jay popping bubble gum. You hear me? Ready to start some shit. gossiping on the phone, yelling and screaming at bitches on the phone. Oh God. See when the homies came to her and say, man, look, I see Mac, your girl doing. Come on, man. I don't know, man, she doing too much. She ain't tough like this, you know. She doing, man, you know. And come back on you, too. You know what I'm saying? Because I know one thing, you gonna want to protect your girl. Who ain't? You ain't gonna let the girl go out on no b No. And they know that. And they, and, you know, they did the right thing to let the man know. Say, man, tell your girl she doing too much. She ain't built like this. And then I come to you and tell you I'm built like, guess what these days? Man, you know what? Well, you ain't built like that. And you know what? I'm gone, nigga. Yeah, goodbye, b my my bad, y'all yeah, got carried away. But yeah, bye. <laughs> you can go and go. You ain't no more trouble anyway. So um, C Mac made a good chess chess move on the chessboard. Uh, yeah. Go on, go on, lose your queen, cause you got a couple of pawns down there that you can raise up and get whatever, make them grow up and be whatever you want them to be. So um, yeah. You don't you don't really need um. Uh, yeah, that queen. You you might lose the queen on the board, but guess what? You got many more to make. How about this? Bars. T.T. Naughty. Um, T.T. Naughty is a popular influencer out of Austin, Texas. Um, he kind of came up following your format. Uh, we've done business with T.T. Naughty a few times. You're very familiar with him and his platform. Um, recently, a lot of allegations came his direction. Um, very similar to how, you know, the Internet was attacking you. I guess every dog has his day. Uh, T.T. had his day. His sister came forth and brought up a lot of things um some that i won't say um things like grave digging and so on and so forth you know i don't really want to get too deep into it um but it did happen on the internet um i seen his response and i seen um well i didn't really see much of what everybody else had to say but i did see what he had to say um my question to you og is what was your thoughts tell him a crib i might be here a while <laughs> But anyway, back in the days, I knew this um, guy, man, this lady that worked at the funeral home, right? And uh, she worked at the funeral home, and she got fired due to some messy allegations. And she got mad at the family members one time, and she said, uh, she got mad, and she went and knocked on the door, but she got fired from the funeral home. And she was pissed off about it at the time. So she went to a, um, a family's house to be messy because of some mess that had happened at the funeral home. And she knocked on the door, and she said, say, uh, I want y'all to know that they cut y'all y'all daddy's um, feet off at, at, at the front of home with they mess ass. They cut his feet off and put him in the coffin. And, and I said, what? The, no, the family members like, what? They did what? She said, yeah, he, wasn't, he was too long for the coffin, so they cut his feet off. You know, that, that's some bad shit to know. You know, and then especially when they don't even open up the other end of the coffin, you didn't even get to look at that motherfucker. See it nothing, you hear me? Cause they never open. They know back in the day, you all, you always seen the top. The bottom was always closed. They got the wide open casket that you can see the shoes. Now remember them days. Now even if you could see the shoe, they never open up the casket all the way. They always everybody always seen the top. They have one pearl shorts. Just to suit the top. Yeah, he <laughs> don't know what he got on. But anyway, um. The lady knocked on the door and told the people they cut they, 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 their old man's feet off. So the family got pissed off, hired a lawyer, you know, and, and tried to find out because they believe with this lady. They kind of know what I kind of you know. She, she really saying this, you know, and they did. This going to be a lot of guys money because it's a very, very, very valuable funeral home. So um, she got her, she got some lawyers. They got a guy to be um, tractor or bulldozer, whatever the fuck they use. Um, and they went after they dug the coffin up. And guess what, soon? <laughs> uh, that man didn't have no goddamn feet. The feet was gone. 
the ladies they had really done some shit like that. They had went up in this graveyard, dug it up, and found out that the man didn't have no feet. But the more let's why did I tell that story? Uh, cause TT, uh, you know, uh, I, it's some shit that I believe. Sometimes it's some shit that I don't believe. I'm sorry, y'all. Man, I broke composure on that one. I didn't. I couldn't even hold my own shit by bed. It's some shit that I believe. It's some shit that I don't believe sometimes when I hear it. When it comes down to TT. You hear me? Until I dig it up. <laughs> Boys. I'm going to let y'all soak in that one for a minute. You see, I really got just then. Yeah, until I dig it up. Uh, and find out huh, some shit be real. Some shit be real. But but, but I'm, I'm not going to... Um, you know, as Toon would love for me to do it this time, but um, I have to stick to the script, uh, which I would love not to do it this time, <laughs> but I have to stick to the script. Uh. <laughs> Y'all see how he just pushing me in the back? Pushing me. That means go on, get on out there and get it. That's how you push somebody and make them fight. That's how you push them and make them fight. Uh. I, I don't I can't I can't punch on him no more. I punched on him enough. Uh, and I'll be wrong to kick him while he down. Cause I already didn't I already didn't slip him. You hear me? Uh, on the internet in that situation, uh, to see that he he never threw a punch back. Uh, so he not a tough guy like that. He never threw a punch back to him, so I can't be a bully and keep punching on him. I, which which I'm not gonna lie, I, I would I mean there's nothing to punch at no more. He went in the cone and curled up like this. On the internet, so, uh, cause he ain't never say nothing back. The, the little blow that he did, though, I blocked that, and we just and, and, and kept and kept him in that corner, pinned to that pinned to that rope. Uh, we already KO'd that. Uh, saying that to say this. Uh, don't don't try to play us on this internet. Say he went in there and asked for uh, 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 a test. One thing you can't do, you don't go in there and demand. Shit. No, no nurse office, no clinic, no nothing. Say, I wanted my test. You know, some things you can tell these, and some things you can tell. But it's some things you can't tell these. I want them. You can't tell this to me. Uh, when you go take a, uh, a test for something, it, it comes out. It don't come out until you don't go back and say, "Give my answer," and they hand it to you. And then you got on there to show your paperwork. You know, my thing is, quit throwing your paperwork in paper face if you can't show us your paperwork. See, you came over with that little thing wrapped around your arm all day, and you said, and you told the world you jumped over there like this, talking about, um. See, what that say right there? What that say right there? Nigga, I was laughing like I'm at you, TT. I started laughing at you. I said, look at it. I said, because we don't want to uh, see nothing. It said, came back nothing for this, 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 and this. Syphilis, we didn't ask you to go take no syphilis test, no gonorrhea test, <laughs> no chlamydia test. <laughs> Yeah, none of that. We didn't ask you for that. We asked for one test. And the answer that you gave was none, you know, was not was not the correct answer. Uh, there's only two answers to that question. It's reactive and non-reactive. <laughs> See that? I had to go dig you up. Found that nigga didn't have no feet on him. You hear me? And dug you up and you didn't have no feet on that one. So, uh. I'm gonna let you make it on that one. We're gonna tear that one out. Uh, you gonna have to try your homework again on that one. That's what the teacher do to that one. I know what? That's when you know you fucked up at school when the teacher do your work like this. You know, uh, Demerson. You know, just just go. You be looking at the teacher. Just start over. Just start over. And that's what I asked TT to do. If you want to maintain him in the game that he got, uh, don't entertain the bullshit. Because the only thing going to come with that is the bullshit. If you want to be on some real on this internet, uh, and, and, and now you ain't going to touch to him. Talking about you want to, man, because you ain't getting no money back. You ain't going to do no punching. No nothing. You better get out of trouble. You ain't going to go get You a flunky. You, 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 you got a couple. Listen, let me tell you something. When you got a lick, you supposed to hit the uh, Listen, it, 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 cocaine is a horrible drug. Ask me how I know. <laughs> Rick James told me. That's how I found out. Because Rick James told me it was. And I had to learn by experience. You get what I'm saying? 
Same with you. Same with you. You're not going to call a cat a cat. And it's a dog. We ain't going to let you do that. So on this internet, if you can't help, quit trying to hurt. Because you can't hurt nobody. All you're going to do is hurt yourself. And the badest thing to do is to go against a family member. People that really, really know your business. See, one thing you're supposed to be doing, see, the more you talk, the more you're going to get in trouble. Because <laughs> the more you talk, the more they can tell. Uh, when you know you done did some don't put your name in some man. You done did some and the worst person to tell it on you is a motherfucker that know you. It's some people in the family that you know, because I know this ain't finna do that. Yes, she is. Yes, yeah, she finna do that. And that's the wrong man. Instead of trying to throw wood on the fire, but see, he let us know one thing to him when he said this. He said, my sister ain't shit, you know, won't, 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 won't. He said, you told the people before she got there about her. You talking about your own sister or somebody? Yeah, because guess what? You knew that's the one that could take you down. That's like giving a head start, man. If this ever say something about me, man, I don't even believe this. Oh, my bitch said, yeah, that don't always say something. She's lying, she's doing Oh, okay, okay. So when she come around and she throw a story out there, um, nobody believes her. But um, for some reason, I believe her. <laughs> uh, ask me her ex. Tell me, make it make sense, man. Why, why would I believe her? Why, why do you believe her, OG? Why I believe her? Because, God damn it, um, I used to be that same <coughs> that he was. I used to be that same to the family. You know what I'm saying? I used to be that same to do some scan his ass. You know what I'm saying? Have, have CPS at that all type of shit. But, um, I got my together. You know what I'm saying? So I knew one thing, family, that's why when I came on the internet, guess what I told the internet? Uh, I ain't gonna tell you, I ain't I don't get this much. But one thing, I, it's just like being in prison when I was telling the tales from the crib. Uh, to make me real, you gotta tell that, that you really been through and you know you're not lying about it. When you're not lying about something, ain't nothing gonna never go wrong with you. When they heard tales from the crib, they swore I was lying. I'm not lying. When I got on this internet, I told it on myself. I wasn't lying about the n that I was. I done been stuck at them dope houses. I been stuck at them tables, sitting around the table, passing the plate, all type of shit. I done been there, done that. Yeah, I done been in prison, locked behind them cages, state jails, jails, uh, prisons, in them cages. I done been there. I done gang bang. I done been drugged through the mud, drugged through this. I done did that. I done been the rotten nigga in the family. I done been the black sheep of the family. Yeah. I been there when didn't nobody want me to come to the house. I been there when it was Christmas and, and Thanksgiving. The family came around. Everybody hid their purses in one room. <laughs> everybody put your purse in mama's room. Was, no, I don't that. He got us last year. Take it out there and put it in the trunk. Put it in the trunk. now. don't put it in her car. Put it in his car. Put hide. Why could no person here? <laughs> oh, scandal that that's person. But see, one thing I did do, I went I, I burnt them bridges, but I had to rebuild. I used to be at my mom had my mom said, Percy, where you going tonight? I thought I'd probably sleep on the couch. No, no, mm -mm. <laughs> Well, you need us to drop you off somewhere? Yeah. I go get dropped off in the projects. Yeah, I go get dropped off and stop six projects when, when Crips was in the projects and sit under the light all night in the alley. On some bulls. But see, one thing, I knew TT, that's how I made it for me. So when people come out and say something about me, uh, I tell them on this thing to help other people because I overcame it. I built my bridges back. <coughs> Them same people that wouldn't let me stay at their house right now, they can leave and be gone for three and four weeks. They ain't got to worry about nothing missing, nothing, nothing gone. Coming back to a clean, yeah. But the same ones told me I couldn't come around. But see, now I rebuilt. I got the trust back. And if they want to say anything about me, they can. Because guess what? Nine times out of ten, they, I done it. <laughs> you know, person used to, yeah, I know. Did you? I know you didn't do it. Yeah, I did. If you told me to, we put the money in the baby pamphlet. So person come in there, baby, sit on that naked in the mother. What happened to Juju? Person snatched, yeah, I got that. I'm taking for everything that ain't, everything ain't nailed down, I'm taking it. I used to, I used to be that nigga. I stayed in jails, stayed in prison. I used to be that. But I, what I did, I lost a lot of trust and a lot of respect. But I asked God to help me build that back. 
I that that's 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 the, that's the that's the that was that was better than you know getting out of, getting over drugs. It's building back. You, you know how it feels for somebody to trust you that didn't trust you. <laughs> you know how that feel. Uh, well, I guess you don't. <laughs> you ain't build. You ain't start building back. I see you still throwing wood on the fire, blowing it up. Cause every time you say something back, you throw wood on the fire. You know, family members are easy to burn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You might burn nigga streets, still be cool with you the next day. You burn family members, say, hey man, now don't bring your ass around here, old scandalous mother, dirty mother, rotten. Don't come over here, dirty. Get from over here now, now. I don't even want now. I don't think, I, I got now. <coughs> See, when I rebuild, I ask God to give me the strength, man, and give my sister. See, if I had a sister like yours, uh, I'd be like, God damn, sis, now nah, don't do me like that, man. I ain't it, I won't say nothing else. <laughs> yeah. You know, don't go over there, oh, 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 now I'm a bit, okay, okay, I'm a bit now. All right, motherfucker, I got you. See, you got one of them. And when that one come out of somebody, oh, they ain't lying. <laughs> Um, I, I got some I wouldn't even push wrong. Please don't tell that. You hear me? <laughs> yeah, because you know I know. Yeah, I do know you know. <laughs> um. But God don't tell it. They going to say you, you, I'm the pervert. They going to say you the crazy one. <laughs> they going to say that's just how person he is. You know, everybody know that. You, I, I got victims. What kind? They love them. They so victimized, they come right back. <laughs> Yeah, but at the same time, the good kind, not the bad kind. Uh, but T.T. Naughty, uh, start building back, man. Like I told him, man, everything that you see on the internet, you had two big, two big opportunities, man. You had, you know, BG. Uh, you had another good opportunity, Honeycomb Brazen. What you do, you didn't go with, you didn't go with yourself. You went with the internet. Uh. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't do nothing different than what everybody else was doing, and the ball was in your hand. When you had the ball in your hand, you fumbled. You fumbled the ball. You had the ball in your hand. I'd rather see you take that, grab that ball, and run a touchdown with that. The best thing, uh, make it make sense. I'm gonna tell y'all how I'm gonna make it make sense. Because, uh, if OG Percy, my bad, if OG Percy had a chance to, uh, to have honeycomb land in my lap, uh. I'm gonna play the game the right way. Uh, all the way through. BG the land in my lap. I'm gonna play the game the right way. All the way through. BG, uh, I know how this platform shit go. This is what they gonna do, homie. I ain't gonna go but I don't motherfucker. I got paperwork, man. Say, hey, man, man, let that start going off. That nigga went superstar overnight. Uh. And ended up doing it ended up being a four, a falling star <laughs> overnight. You no, know, he was up there for a minute. God damn, nigga making a wish that you can get back up there. Nah, get, ain't no getting back up there once the star fall. That's over with. But you was up there shining with him, man. You supposed to take opportunities like that and build with him, man. Not jumping to the end. That's what I try to tell TT. All that shit you trying to be because ain't nobody watching. You going to go down. I want to see. I said, ooh, this nigga hit a good lick. That's what I said. Ooh, that nigga got BG on the line. And he lying. God damn now, homie, you can't do that. You can't put BG on the line and start line. Come on, man. You had you got a big man, man. Don't jump in, man. I got you, man, on this, man. Look at BG. We already know how this internet is. We're not gonna even entertain, man. Yeah, what's 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 your project coming out? You know, that's how crazy. What's your next project, man? We ain't finna see fool. Ass. They just drive talking. Well, I got you on the line right now. They talking about paperwork, man. Look, once I know thing about it. If I didn't need my time, you don't need to be checking my, the world don't need to see my paperwork too. What is the world doing out here? I always, goddamn me, convicting niggas after go do their time. Now I gotta come on and prove something to y'all too when they start doing this. I know a thing, I know millions of niggas have been home, ain't sure, ain't never told nobody what they home for. <coughs> huh? I know millions of niggas that's been home. Now we gotta come home and say, this what I was in there for. Now, and the sad thing, we not even checking what they was in there for, we checking everything. You know, background checks. What, on, on, on niggas in the world? Talking about some shit that happened years ago? Come on, cuz that's so they ain't what he was in the now. This is a whole different case. Come on, bro. When 
start throwing and then TT on it with papers and shit. But yeah, I got this, I got this. Cause when niggas started putting out niggas paperwork, where they start building them type of gangsters at? No, no, that ain't that ain't what that is. They, I don't see nothing gangster recording. I got it on record right there to listen to them. Y'all, but what you doing? Cause have me scared to talk around you, bro. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't want to be around no nigga I can't talk around. But um, lately I've been seeing TT. I'm going to get off the gas on him. I've been seeing him doing what he's supposed to do. Um, he ain't really just, um, after, after I, um, I can't say, um, don't be talking about you going to knock tune out. We owe y'all some money. Go on with the bullshit. You ain't going to do nothing over here of a salt. Uh, but get assaulted over here. You hear? <laughs> That's all I'm going to tell you. Say, we ain't them niggas that be curling on your station over there. You seen that when we, you know, I'm gonna get off the gas. Thanks for the knock at the door, though. You know what happened when the knock is, you don't want us knocking on no doors. You don't want to be knocking on that door no more, you don't open it. <laughs> now you got, you got another opportunity, that he not already opened, you not already had to open one door. Now don't make him have to open the door for you again. He already opened the door for you, gave you a couple of chances on the stage. Don't get on there and get to talking crazy. Tell my somebody, y'all, $150, man, that, that dope fiend ass talk. Go on with that bullshit. Here, I got fifty dollars for you right here. I seen you this. I got fifty dollars for you right here. Me, and, don't worry. But I'm gonna get that to my mama as soon as I finish talking, y'all. I just took that out. Say, you know, I'm gonna throw her that. But anyway, um, shout out to TT Naughty. Shout out to um Pop Austin Media Man out there, man. Y'all keep doing y'all thing. We may pop up on y'all again this season. Um, down there in Pop Austin Media, and um, pop up and um, say what's up to y'all, booty scratching ass. Y'all know y'all be out there bullshit. Pop Austin, quit letting that put that bullshit content out there and y'all start building. Y'all need to start building down there. Y'all doing a good job. We might pop up on y'all on the Southwest by Southwest again. It's your me and Bob. I don't know. In tune. But I know one thing. Y'all had that door unlocked with my partner knock on that motherfucker next time. And don't be a second late. Yeah, especially if I'm in the gate. Now, shout out to Pop House to me, man. One love, man. Real Tune TV. We out of here, man. Boss. <laughs> hey, Real Tune, it's some real money in the room.